Hello, I'm Fiona and I live in the London borough of Redbridge and this is Claudia and we have our recycling here behind the screen and Redbridge collect from us each week our plastic bottles, glass bottles and jars and our paper and our tins. Would you like to see them? Let's, see, let's show them. Here we have all our weekly waste, Let's all our bottles and tins and jars, and all our waste paper. And that's our other rubbish over there, which sadly will go to landfill. And over here, what's in here, Claudia? Leaves. Yeah, we've got lots of leaves and grass and all our gardening waste, which will go and be composted in the big composting site in Redbridge. And over here we've got some seeds growing and although it's winter we have started growing a few flowers and we grow a few vegetables every year which we think is a good thing to do. Don't we Claudia? No! <laughs> and here we have our compost bin and in the kitchen we try to compost our fruit and vegetable waste and then I tip it out here and we collect it. But Redbridge don't collect it for us, we do our own composting. Now Fiona, what I've enjoyed about making these films is I don't just learn about the process that this particular bury in, but I learn about the person. And what I didn't know about you is that you use reusable nappies. That's right, I did for some of our children. I didn't know about reusable nappies, really. I thought they were very old fashioned. So for my first three children I didn't use them, although we did use the nature nappies which biodegrade more quickly than the regular ones. And then, then we had twins and it did horrify me to be putting so many nappies in the dustbin. And I knew that they were just going to landfill. And I think it was just the fact that we had two babies at once and it was probably another dustbin full a week that made me think, well what else can I do about this? So we had the laundry service to bring us okay. nice clean nappies each week oh, right. and we collected them all in a big bin and the man would come and take them all away and wash them but the ones he brought back looked nothing like the ones he took away it was quite amazing because they beautiful white boiled squared you know and they were great um, and then when we had Claudia who is another single baby uh, I'd got used to this idea, but the laundry service was no longer subsidised by Redbridge, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So it made it a lot more expensive. Um, so we, I decided we'd buy some, I'd wash them ourselves. And in fact, it wasn't much hassle to wash them because we've got a big family, so washing most days anyway, and you just put them in with the family washing. It doesn't sound very nice, but it does work. And it was all fine. I just think you're amazing because I, I couldn't... I couldn't have coped with twins. I don't, I don't understand how, how you did it. You must have been in this grey haze. Yes, I think we were in a haze. We were. <laughs> you, were going to, you were going to tell me actually that you breastfed the twin. <laughs> yeah, mostly. Not completely. Just don't. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I'll take my hat off you. I don't know how you do it. Anyway, the London Borough of Redbridge, Fiona, how would you like to see their waste disposal system improved? Well, there are lots of good things they're doing. But one thing that would help us a lot is if they collected cardboard and food waste from and plastic waste from our houses because at the moment we have to throw our plastic waste such as fruit cartons and um, all the meat cartons, all those things have yes. to go in the bin yes. and that seems silly to me. Um, I'm sure there must be a market for it somewhere. If it was, but obviously it costs money to invest in that. Mm -hmm. And we go every two to three weeks with a big car full of cardboard to the rubbish dump. And it's called a municipal amenity site. Yes. <laughs> Do not municipal <laughs> amenity site. Yes. And they take all our cardboard and they recycle Excellent. it. Excellent. But it's a big job to do, and I know a lot of people don't have the time or means to do that. And I must admit, I wasn't doing it sometimes. Yes, it's okay. a big effort, okay. but yeah. I do it. Excellent. Well, Redbridge have actually got one of the higher recycling rates, which is 31.6% at the moment. But, I mean, they're still spending millions and millions of, well, £3.3 million pounds on landfill tax. And I'm sure a lot of the residents of Redbridge have no idea that this is going on. They don't realise no. if they divert from landfill, they're actually going to save money. 
Okay, well let's go to your figures here. Da -da -da. So the black box is where you put your recycling recyclates in, 6.1 kilograms. Your garden waste, 1 kilogram. Food waste, 2.6 kilogram. You, you home compost. Your residual waste, 11.3 kilograms. So your total is 21. Your recycling rate is 46%, which compares... Very famous. So that's the outer London boroughs. So that's Redbridge to there. And that's you there, Fiona. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, thank you. Now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, thank you.